Like so much else in life, resilience begins in our communities. This is why the Caribbean Development Bank founded the Community Disaster Risk Reduction Fund in 2012 to help build resilience from the ground up, starting in our communities. Our partners in this effort have been the Government of Canada and the European Union. The United Kingdom's Department for International Development was also one of the original funding partners. The CDRRF has 24 million US dollars in contributions and works within communities, particularly remote rural ones, most vulnerable to climate change impacts. The program works directly with community groups and public and private sector partner organizations to build out projects which help residents avoid or reduce the impacts of extreme weather events, natural hazards, and climate change. Over in Belize, the Humana People to People Belize project being implemented in the Toledo district is helping farmers to improve the climate resilience of their operations through strengthening infrastructure and early warning systems. The name of the project is Building Adaptive Capacity and Resilience to Climate Change in Southern Belize, Toledo. We have three components. The first component is early warning system. And under that, that is where we are rehabilitating two shelters, one in here in Blue Creek, the other in Bladen. We also installed three rain gauges, one in Corazon, one in Bea Vista, and one in Golden Stream. We installed um, three rain river gauges so they can, in, for rivers that normally flood, that we, weren't, we were unable to monitor before. We also install five solar-powered base radios in five remote communities that do not have communications, and we put in a new antenna and repeater system to connect them. So we also, and that was a part of the early warning system. The second component that we have is the agricultural component, the Farmers Club model, which is very unique to Humana People to People Belize. And we did nine demonstration plots in 11 communities. We have one community that was an all-female in Bea Vista. And so on these demonstration plots, we have um, three main components. We have closed agriculture in the greenhouse. We have an open agriculture component and we have livestock. This is a demonstration um, plot here in um, Corazon Village. The practices that we do here on the plot are organic practices. We have a farmer's club consisting of uh, nine members, both males and females. We have livestock training, pigs, poultry, and gardening. They have reached to a level where they take them and practice them on their personal farms. Since our engagement and work within this community, I have seen a, a change of the way people within the community do things. And that's one of the things that really touches me because um, organic farming relates to healthy living. So. We have been addressing their livelihood and even their health. <laughs> yeah. The third component is the education campaign. And that is where our officers work with the schools and the community on, on a large scale. And we do it in five areas. We have the climate change. We have climate smart agriculture. We have solid waste management. We have disaster risk reduction. And then we have gender sensitivity. And I must say that all communities have been very receptive to us. They've been working very well with our, um, our officers. And we're very proud of the work um, that they've been able to do. We do a lot. And so the funding from um, CDRF was instrumental in being able to implement a project of this size. Holistically, we have over 11,000 that we're in the target areas. And so without this funding, we would have not been able to have such an impact in so many communities. We would have been limited to working with communities that more, are more near, are more accessible, have more accessible roads and, and communication. These programs are building community resilience and are protecting the livelihoods of residents and their families so that they can face the future with confidence.